Hey everybody, just wanted to do a quick video today on uh, turning your gaming rig into a mining rig while you're not gaming. So uh, earn yourself some money while your gaming rig is not being used to headshot and teabag and all that good stuff. So uh, this is just a quick glimpse of uh, what I'm running right now and uh, I'll post a link to uh, all the products in the description of the video as well but uh, let's go ahead and uh, show you what we have set up uh, as far as BIOS and uh, afterburner settings and everything for these uh, two AMD uh, excuse me MSI RX 580s or the Gaming X series of the uh, MSI cards so here we go Okay, I'm going to go ahead and fire up GPU-Z and kind of show you what uh, stats are for my card that I'm running. The cards, excuse me, I'm running dual uh, Radeon RX 580s, the MSI Gaming X series. Um, these did come with the Alpita RAM, unfortunately, so uh, I didn't win the uh, Samsung RAM lottery with my cards. But uh, Crossfire is disabled, that's the one thing I will point out. Um, I did, did run for a while with uh, Crossfire enabled with no problems, and then I ran into some system issues, crashing issues, and um, determined that uh, Crossfire was the culprit for that. It was uh, basically locking in certain values that the card didn't support because of what was said on the other card. And um, yeah, so I, I would recommend probably disabling Crossfire for mining and uh, um, enabling it back again when you want to start your gaming. So that's, uh, that's essentially a summary of what I'm running on the cards. Let's uh, fire up Afterburner and show you the Afterburner settings here. So um, as you can see, um, I'm running undervolted. My uh, core clock is at 1100, memory clock is at 2050. Um, I did have that at 2100, but it, it did cause some stability issues. The mega hashes were a little better, but it wouldn't it wouldn't run um, without crashing for for ever basically as, as these settings do. I have zero crashing issues now with the, with these settings. So um, that's what I've chosen. I've saved the profile. If you guys use Afterburner for gaming, you can always save a gaming profile and a mining profile and easily switch between them. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, fire up the miner, um, and I'll show you that. Uh, let's go over the temp. Before I do that, let me go over the temperature real quick. So the temperature, um, you know, on this rig, of course, it's really low right now, but um, it gets up to about 65 degrees Celsius. I do have the side panel off of my rig. Um, it comes default with three 120 millimeter fans, two intake, one exhaust. And that wasn't enough to keep the temperature low with the side panel on. So uh, I, uh, it will accept two more 120 millimeter, millimeter fans in the top. I am going to get some of those and put those in and then see if that helps at all. But for now, I'm running the, the rig with the side panel off. Um, the other piece of this is Afterburner was, was not allowing me to adjust any values in the beginning. And I couldn't figure it out. But um, in the beginning, I only had one um, card in my rig and I was daisy chaining my monitors together via display port and that setup was causing afterburner to really freak out and not allow me to adjust the uh, um, Clock settings or anything. It was it was very strange. Um, I did some reading online and found out that was the issue. So the minute I uh, Went ahead and fed each monitor into its own card that went away. I'm now able to run dual monitors with uh, no problems at all. So um, that's another little gotcha that I did find along the way in this journey. Um, let's go ahead and fire up the miner and see where we All right, so here we are starting up now. I should point out that I am serializing the initialization routines for the GPUs on startup. Um, I'm initializing them all because uh, I was having some issues with the freezing on startup, and that seems to have taken care of that. You do that with the dash GSER and then a two flag in the batch file for starting up this uh, miner. And... Um, yeah, so let's see uh, where we get. And there you have it. That's 26.6. Uh, is, is pretty pretty standard for these cards of what I'm getting. Um, if you guys have any suggestions for me, I'm more than open for uh, suggestions to get better mega hashes. Um, I have flashed my BIOS from seven, you know, the, taking the 1750 timing to the 2000, and uh, using these settings in Afterburner. And this is this is what I pretty much get steadily um, all the time. Is is you know, 20, right around 26 and a half mega hashes a second. So um, this is just my everyday rig that I use to game, uh, dink around, browse YouTube, all that good stuff on. And when I'm not doing that on it, it's earning me money by mining. So that's a pretty cool thing. And uh, yeah, if you guys could subscribe us, like us, and uh, check out some of our other mining videos we have out there and some of our other crazy videos. We do unboxings and all kind of fun stuff. So 
check them out. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and keep on.